Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we will begin talking about linear equations. Here we have two examples of linear equations. Basically, a linear equation is an equation that will create a line when you graph all of the x and y values. So the first example says x plus y equals 8. And in order to be able to graph this equation, we need two or more coordinates. To do that, we can create a table for the possible x and y values. So if we create a table, we'll get x on one side and y on the other side. And we can plug in any value for x and try to get an answer for y. Suppose we say x equals 0. So if x equals 0, 0 plus y must equal 8, and y needs to be 8 for the equation to be true. So our first coordinate would be the point 0, 8 right here. So we can plug or point this plot on the coordinate plane. We have 0, 8, and here's the point. Now we can try another um, solution. So if x equals 1, we get um, x or 1 plus y equals 8, and y needs to be 7 for this equation to be true. So our next point will be 1, 7. We can plot that right here. And so we can graph a line with these two points, but to eliminate any chance of error, we can try to find another solution to the equation to check our work. So let's try a negative number. Let's try negative 1. So negative 1 plus y will be equal to 8. And so y is equal to 8 plus 1 if we move it in. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So our y coordinate would be 9. So we have the coordinates negative 1, 9. And we can plot that right over here. And this looks like it creates a line. So we can graph this line right over here. Like this. So any of the points on this line are solutions to the equation x plus y equals 8. And anything that is not on this line will not be a solution. For example, if we use the point 2 comma 3 and we want to plug this in, we have x equals 2 and y equals 3, so 2 plus 3 will be equal to, will not be equal to 8, it will be equal to 5. So 5, that cannot be a solution to the equation. Now the next example says y equals 2x plus 3. So let's create a table and try to graph this line. So here is our table, and we can plug in any value for x and get a value for y. So let's try, let's start off with 0. So 2 times 0 plus 3 is equal to y. 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So our first coordinate we're going to graph is 0. 3 and that would be right here. Now we can try x equals 1. So if x equals 1 we have 2 times 1 plus 3 and 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 plus 3 is 5 and that will be our next coordinate. So let's assume we haven't made an error here and go ahead and graph this line. So we'll get something like this right over here. 
And you might be wondering how we get a line from only these two points. So basically, any of the points on this line are solutions to the equation. So let's try a fractional value of x as an example. Let's try 5 over <coughs> 2. So if you have 5 halves, we'll get 2 times 5 halves plus 3. So 2 times 5 halves is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So let's try to plot this point and see if it's on the line. So we have 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves, and up to 8. And that is on the line. So any of these points right over here are going to be solutions to the equation y equals 2x plus 3. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our next videos on linear equations and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.